love, these people are I'm not black. Screw up, cause I'm gonna tell you ahead of time, this is gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings. The people I'm about to name on this list is frauds and they not really black people. You understand? Having melanated skin don't make you a Negro according to blood. So we're gonna start over with Louis Farrakhan. Louis Farrakhan is not a black man. Now I know y'all get that confused because of how much he supposedly did for black people. However, he's not a black man. His father is white. Kamala Harris. Stayed over to Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, she is not a black woman. Her father is a white man and her mother is an East Indian. But I know she fooled y'all because she put hot sauce in her bag and made y'all vote for her. But nonetheless, she's not a black woman. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. He's not a black man. His father is a white man. But I know he fooled a lot of black people because he was a huge advocate for being a drug addict and smoking all of the weed in the world. However, Bob Marley, he ain't a black man. Nipsey Hussle. This one gonna crush a lot of your feelings. But Nipsey Hussle, he's not a black man. He's an Ethiopian. His father is an Ethiopian. But I know he fooled a lot of black people because of the life it is that he lived. Nipsey Hussle died the death of a black man. Nonetheless, he's not a black man. And listen, I ain't nothing personal, man. You understand? I know y'all keep hearing me say the father, the father, the father, because the father's seed plays a significant role in determining what race you belong to. And according to the Bible, you are what your father is. You understand? So it ain't nothing personal, man. You got to leave your feelings at the door. If y'all don't agree, it's a comment section down below. But the people that's on this list, according to the Bible, whether you like it or not, they're not black people. Shalom. Kahalona. Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Rikwak Kadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son. And our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor. To the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad in double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson judge not according to appearance. Now, there's one caveat in here. Bob Marley's father may be what we were referred to as confusion because Bob Marley has a spirit of an Israelite. Now, he may have been an avid marijuana smoker, but he had a lot of flavor. So there's a high possibility that Bob Marley's father was an Israelite whose father go back to the Moors, which were Israelites, who go back to the ancient medieval time frame. So that's just a possibility. Can't prove it, but I'll just throw that out there. But the bottom line is, the fact of the matter is, this is a topic that many of the black only Israelites don't like to go into. Black only Israelites elevate blackness. And many of them also embrace this hemetic faith belief system. And when you look at that word ham or chem, it goes back to heat. Heat or heated. So that hemetic faith are belief systems that that are stolen from the sons of Ham, Hamitic people, Ham. That's what Kim is, heat or Ham, Kim. Anyway, I just want to go into this. What makes an Israelite is not the color of our skin, whether we be dark chocolate or mocha or caramel or vanilla cream. That's not what makes an Israelite. So we understand who Jacob is based on the spirit that dwells within us. More specifically, in these last days, the elect are walking in the spirit, having exhibited wisdom, traits of understanding, 
that can go into these scriptures and can receive the true gospel. So the key focus during these last days is on the elect. That is a spectacle unto the world right now. So we're going to go into this. I could care less what a man looks like. If he's acting like a ninja, then that's probably what he is, or a cave beast. Let's go here. Let's go to John 7 and 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So judging based on the fruits of an individual. What type of fruits are they are they creating? If they're good fruits, then that is indicative of a person that's more than likely of a right elk. Or that might be connected to the hopeful elect exhibiting the right traits in these days right now is pushing this gospel. That's producing fruits right for repentance, helping to bring in other good fruit of the hopeful elect. So right now, these are high quality traits. Go here to Romans chapter two, <clears throat> excuse me, the book of Romans chapter two, verse 28. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is he. Romans 2 and 28. And when thanks, brother, Z brother Zadok shared this video with me. So all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the water, to the beloved brother Zadok. Romans 2 and 28. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. Let's get the key point. For he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter whose praise is not of men, but of the Most High. So the spirit is the main characteristic, which is going to be gener generating fruit, healthy fruit, right for repentance. The spirit, by the fact, let's go from there to Galatians. I'm going to go down to Galatians 5. Let's go to Galatians 5, verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. <clears throat> That's the key. So the spirit is the life. The spirit is what indicates whether an individual is full with the breath of life, walking in wisdom and understanding. So we know a tree by the fruit it bears. Are they teaching? Are they interpreting the scriptures? Are they prophesying? Can they acknowledge and understand the full gospel? Are they diligent? Galatians 5 and 16, this I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. If an individual is sleeping with another man's wife, he's walking in the flesh. Just because he's teaching every day, but yet banging somebody else's wife, that's a ninja. Okay. Now, if he does it once or twice and repents, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about adding sin on top of sin. That's going off. Galatians 5 and 17. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, 
and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Let's go down to verse 25. So the law is for those that are not living according to the word, walking in the flesh, which brings the penalty of breaking the law, judgment. Let's go to Galatians 5 and 25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. So we're reading about the fruits of the spirit. So the spirit is the life line, the breath of life, this wisdom. Let's go back to Romans 2 and 29. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of the Most High. So one that comes into the truth just to be seen by men is just looking to exalt themselves. That's a fleshly mindset, not being converted, not being born again. So the inward man must be changed. We must become a new creature. That is that change through the spirit. See, being born again. Let's go to John 3. John 3, verse 2. The same came to Yahushai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Yahushai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And this is the new creature we're talking about, being a Jew inwardly or a member of the hopeful elect. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahushai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So this is a spiritual transformation. It is the Spirit that brings us to life, that makes us metamorph, so to speak, change inwardly. We no longer desire to murder to covet a man's wife, his house, to cover a man's car, take his wife. And if you're out there doing that, you still a black ninja and not a new creature. Okay, how many lessons are you cranking out per day? Go to Proverbs 10 and 9. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. So the Lord sees us when we're going off. No matter how many videos we're doing per day, he sees the uncleanliness on the inside. The inward man is filthy. Or if we're deviating from the doctrine, filthy, corrupt communication then our house is not clean. 
Proverbs 10 and 9. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. So perversion starts with what comes out of us. Let's go to that. Let's go to Proverbs 10 and 13. In the lips of him that have understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. So the absence of understanding creates a void of life. The spirit is not dwelling there. The light's on, but nobody's home, so to speak. That is a dead vessel. Out of fact, let's go here. Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So where there is no spirit, there is no life. A dead vessel that's cold or lukewarm, not producing any heat, no works, no life, no fruit, a dead tree, so to speak. Let's go from there. We're going to go here to Proverbs 28, verse 18. Proverbs 28, verse 18. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. That's that dead tree. Let's see if I can find that. I think it's Matthew's. Matthew 21, maybe 19. Yeah, right here. The barren fig tree. And this is Yahweh Shai that's going to curse that tree. That's representative of a man with unfruitful works or no works. Matthew 21, let's go to verse 18. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered. Now this is also an example of how the hopeful elect are hungry and thirsty for knowledge of this wisdom. Now in the morning, as he returned in the city, he hungered. That literally happened. There's also a spiritual significance behind it. Numbers 21, verse 19. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. And presently the fig tree withered away, going to die. The works or the unfruitful works of darkness or the lack of works thereof. We already read that. We go back to it. Galatians 5 and 25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another envying one another. So the works of the flesh is envy, strife, contention, confusion, sowing seeds of doubt, unfaithful. So walking in the spirit is walking in the light of life, this wisdom, judging based on, on the spirit and this is how we know who is amongst the elk of the hopeful elect. Let's get one more. Let's go to, we're going to go to Romans. 
8 and 16. Romans 8 and 16. Go to Romans 8 and 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. So Jacob was a plain man, which goes back to righteous, holy, wholesome. And that spirit dwells within the remnant. That spirit dwells within the remnant of the hopeful elect of the house of Israel in these modern times. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekwakadash, Barakatham. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yesharela and the Bible bow. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom.